We're going to look at the opposition to the registration of a trademark pursuant to the non-use ground found in Section 59 of the Trademarks Act. The section states that registration of a trademark may be opposed on the ground that the applicant does not intend to use or authorise the use of the mark in Australia, or to assign it to a body corporate in relation to the goods and or services that the applicant has specified in their application. The applicant is the person who is named in the application for registration at the time of the proceeding, and any interested third party may oppose the registration by filing a notice of opposition. The onus of proof is on the opponent to demonstrate that the applicant lacks an intention to use the trademark in Australia. If the opponent establishes this, the onus will shift to the applicant to establish that they did in fact have the requisite intention. Intention is critical to this section, and the applicant must have an intention to use the mark at the date of filing for the mark, that is the date they make their application. That intention must be a real and definite intention, although they can use the mark sometime in the future, they will not need to use it immediately to demonstrate intention. And their intention must be in good faith. In addition to this, there is a presumption that by applying for the trademark, the applicant has an intention to use the trademark. In Food Channel Network Proprietary Limited and Television Food Network GP, the appellant network and applied for a trademark which contained the image of a chili and a banana as the antenna on a television with the words Food Channel across it. Television had several trademarks registered under Food Network and contested the registration on several grounds, but also for non-use under Section 59. The court found that television had not demonstrated that Network lacked the requisite intention. Network had produced some evidence that they had used the trademark on recipes which they had given to butchers, and by doing so, they demonstrated that they had used the trademark as a badge of origin and therefore television had not discharged its onus in proving a lack of intention. A case where it did succeed is Danjag LLC and Resources Capital Australia Proprietary Limited. Resources Capital applied to register the trademark James Bondi, and Danjag, who owned the trademark James Bond, filed to oppose the registration. Resources Capital had a history of applying for deceptively similar trademarks, and a history of cyber squatting on domain names to sell them back to the more legitimate owner. The court drew adverse inferences about Resources Capital's intention for their registration, and they drew this from their history and concluded that they did not have the requisite intention to use the trademark at the date of filing. Some other examples come from Phone Directories Company Australia and Sun Yang Corp, and generally, from these cases, you can say that intention does not need to be acted upon immediately. A delay in using a trademark does not show a lack of intention at the time of making the application. In summary, any interested third party can oppose registration for non-use. A person who applies for a trademark needs to have the intention to use the trademark at the date of making the application. Applying for a trademark creates a presumption in favour of the applicant, and it is difficult to demonstrate a lack of intention, which is clear from the Food Network case, and intention does not need to be acted upon immediately.